Hello everybody, welcome to my summer reading vlog. My name is V13 and today is the 11th of June 2013. The plot thickens as we continue our discussion of Kathy Rikes's Deja Dead, as Margaret Adkins has been murdered just after noon. However, unlike our previous two victims, Chantal Chorchier and Elizabeth Gagnon, Margaret was killed in her apartment and not found disposed in a plastic bag. However, Constable Claudel, Detectives Charbonneau and Ryan, and our main character, Tempe, have not been left without clues, as the perpetrator, or possible perpetrator, has used Margaret's credit card at a local convenience store, and the man was caught in the video. However, the video is blurry, so the convenience store owner can't really figure out who he is. Plus, the man isn't very trustworthy himself. However, regulars of the store pinpoint the location of the man to a not so she she apartment complex in downtown Montreal. However, just as the foursome find this man in his apartment, this man, by the way, is Jean Marc Saint Jacques, they find a map in his room of Montreal featuring three X's, two of which are crime scenes that they have discovered. Now, one of them isn't. However, just as they discuss what this map means, Saint Jacques rushes out of the apartment and escapes onto the streets. And that is how chapter 10 ends, which is as far as I've gotten so far. Um, however, there's also a separate plot that is in the book involving Gabby, who is one of Tempe's best friends, and uh, from their days as anthropology students. Gabby's work in anthropology is different from Brennan's, it's, uh, or Tempe's. It's more... It's, it's a different type of anthropology. It's not forensic. And while Gabby has been working on this anthropology, she's kind of not been as social with Gabby as she has been in the past. However, one development that occurs in chapters 5 through 10, which is what I read, is that while at a restaurant, Gabby gets really scared at a restaurant and Tembi has to rescue her and bring her home. The reason why she gets scared at the restaurant is because during her job, Gabby has met uh, kind of a stalker uh, or someone who has been really interested in kind of her personal life. And so when she finds him at the restaurant, she gets really freaked out and paranoid. She still can't figure out, or she as Gabby, still can't figure out if it's really paranoia or if she's, or if he is really trying to threaten her. However, uh, Tempe just allows her to relax, and Gabby eventually just assumes that it's just paranoia, and she should leave him alone. So, that is what I've read so far in Deja Dead. I'm very looking forward to the next section, because that is when we get to see uh, if uh, St. Jacques gets caught, and... I am very excited about that because a lot of chasings happen in Bones, and this is gonna. This is what appears to be the introduction to a chase scene, and so I am very excited. I cannot wait until uh, tomorrow when I get to divulge you in the facts of the next uh, five or so chapters of this book. Thank you so much. Bye.